Right y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms channel. Okay, so today we're checking out something pretty cool. This is about the Swiss Armed Forces, but this is kind of like a retro montage video for the Swiss Armed Forces. And you know, I check out these videos just for the aesthetics alone, but you guys already know I'm a big fan of like retro military footage. It might not be retro for a lot of y'all that actually served during these times, but this one is, is going back a little bit further. This is from 1964, um, and the Swiss Armed Forces in 1960s I gotta say, it looked pretty aesthetic. I'm gonna have to change the song because it is copyright claimed, um, but it, it was just like some 80s retro music for whatever reason, I think. So I'm just gonna replace it with something kind of similar. So should be a good one. Let's check it out. <laughs> That's a pretty cool intro right there, to be honest. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't know where they're going. Uh, I'm guessing they're doing just like some uh, PT march or something, but having the planes overhead, yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. So I, I guess the clips in this were derived from like some really highly acclaimed like short film showcasing the Swiss military at this time. But I gotta say just the old helmets alone, the old camouflage, the old like webbing with like the hatchets they have on their kit. It's all very, very aesthetic already. I'm not sure what rifle they're using though. Dude on left is walking with some swagger too. <laughs> oh, and they got the, the Jeeves. Now the interesting thing at this point for the 60s is for the most part, people were really, you know, starting to adopt camouflage. And it's kind of interesting to see all the old camouflage patterns. I think, I mean, yeah, maybe, well, the US Army probably didn't even have their own camouflage maybe i'm not sure if the marine corps had their own camouflage for like vietnam at least but yeah it's kind of cool checking out the old camouflage patterns and those helmets yeah i imagine yeah they didn't have kevlar really at this point for helmets at least so they probably still had like they almost look like a world war ii german sort of shape or design <laughs> I don't know what those rockets or anti-tank weapons are, but they looked heavy. That's, hey. <laughs> That's so cool. Damn, okay. I can understand why this short film got a lot of acclaim. Just imagine, this is the 60s. Shots like that are not common for the 60s. That is pretty freaking sweet for like actual military stuff. What is going on here? Holy cow. It might just be like a forced perspective and they're actually like, I don't know, like 20 feet off of the ground or something. Um, but yeah, you have to think it is Switzerland. So yeah, I imagine these guys are probably pretty comfortable pushing themselves like this. But with kit on, with the rifle on the back and they're climbing... That's a freaking cool background too. Oh man. That's dope. The old school of snow camo where it's just like straight white. Damn. <laughs> okay, I don't know if they had like professional skiers come in, but again, you have to think it is the Swiss military. I'm sure these guys are just like super badass skiers, but that looks like I mean, that's not the bunny slope, I can tell you that. That is a very, very, geez, what is that? Like a freaking 30 degree incline or I guess decline, I guess. Sheesh. That's a freaking cool shot right there. Kicking out the snow and stuff. Boy, now we're getting some shots that are like straight out of James Bond here. What is that rifle? Or machine gun? No, what the heck? Looks like it's got like a flip up sight too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is like, I don't know. This is like some Star Wars Hoth stuff right here. There's assembling in this weird snow trench. This dude has this cool freaking snow coat. Snow coat. That's <laughs> how you know I don't really do a whole lot of stuff in like the arctic sort of cold snow environment. That's cool. Damn, I feel like the Swiss military was really ahead of their time for a lot of stuff. 
That looks really impressive. What they have like uh, boxes and stuff. What in tarnation? I didn't think. I mean, that looks like some pretty advanced thing. I mean, it looks kind of overly complicated for whatever reason. Um, but to get tanks across a river like that. And this, I mean, I guess this is for like a camouflage. It looks more of like a camouflage meant for like satellites. But of course, this is the nineteen, or the early 1960s where I don't even know, 64? I don't even think Sputnik. Well, yeah, Sputnik probably was deployed at this point. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going into my space knowledge now. But yeah, I guess this is just for camouflage, but it could be nice for just shade as well. Those are some interesting stakes, too, for their wire there. <laughs> Did that dude just say <laughs> that he just like jumped into the abyss? There's no way he didn't just like completely break his leg. Look at that. He didn't like this dude slid down. That's one thing. But this guy just comes out of nowhere and just like, okay, I know this is going to be like eight feet, but I'm just going to jump anyway. And he just disappears. <laughs> My gosh. These guys are intense. They're going hard for this video. Okay, go to their breach. Oh, damn, they still got flame... Yeah, of course, they still have flamethrowers. Everybody's still rocking flamethrowers at this point. But that rifle grenade, that was pretty freaking slick. I think rifle grenades are just so cool. I mean, they seem so, like, primitive in a weird way, but just so violent. That's cool. The, the flamethrower. Whoever's in that bunker is very dead. Why is the freaking? I mean, yeah, I guess the flamethrower should take point, but oh my gosh, that's so cool and terrifying. And they have what? They have bayonets fixed? Shouldn't they just have like their uh, Swiss Army knives or something? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, maybe those weren't bayonets. Maybe they were just rifle grenades. <laughs> These guys just posting up. That's a high angle for a for a rifle grenade. Honestly, those stick grenades are so interesting. I know they were kind of developed so you could get it further, I guess, just like using physics and whatnot. Um, Americans definitely preferred something that was closer to a baseball because, you know, Americans in baseball, I guess. But this, yeah, they're still rocking these in the 60s. It's kind of cool to see. Those rifles are gnarly. I don't think I've ever seen those before. That was such a cool shot. Jeez, that is terrifying. Dude, the shots for this, the budget must have been insane. Again, I know it is like proper military people doing this and stuff, so maybe, I don't know, they got some heal to hype them up. It's just like a really insane recruitment advert. What are those flags? If you guys know what these flags are, definitely let me know. Cause I don't know. Does Switzerland have like states or territories? I mean, I guess they must, right? Huh? Okay. I imagine that's what that is, but I'm not even too sure. Okay. Now I'm fully convinced that I need to check out more of these retro montage videos. Cause that was freaking sweet. I understand they're not going to be the same quality that we saw with this one. Cause it was like a very high production thing. But again, just seeing like the old camouflage, the old, the old weapons, the sixties is a weird time. It was such a transit transitory time, I guess. Cause you, you see some stuff that was, you know, very prevalent during world war two. Um, but then you also start seeing, again, like the adoption of camouflage. You start seeing some some different weapons that people are trying to like experiment with. You know, you're not quite in like the 80s or 90s where you have some more established firearms. But the 60s, there was a lot of interesting stuff coming out. But there was also a lot of very weird, you know, firearms that was kind of in place in that transition. Um, I mean, for us in the U.S., we had the, the M14, I guess, and the, also the early M16s. But yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff to see from all these other militaries. And I think when I check out these retro videos, I'm definitely going to want to check out 
other military's retro footage because again just seeing all the the old school equipment but also like the interesting just violence of action tactics that they're implementing just makes it that much more aesthetic especially when you put like a cool soundtrack over it so if you guys have any cool retro montage videos definitely let me know send them down in the comment section so i can check them out because even if i'm not going to react to it i'd still like to check it out anyway um, again, I'm going to have to change the audio for this one. So hopefully it still matches a little bit. But of course, I'll put the original video in the description so you guys can go and watch the original video and kind of get like the, the full flavor of what I was getting when I was reacting to this video because it was pretty freaking sweet. And also hopefully at this point, I will have returned from that training that I was telling you guys about like a month and a half ago. Um, so yeah, I was away. And hopefully at this point, when this video goes out, I am back and I can start getting back into the normal swing of like three or four videos a week. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll try and give you guys an update in the community post as well. Um, if not, I'll try and just do the, the throwback Thursday and kind of throw it in there as well. But thank you guys for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you all in the next one.